back to it? Yeah, yeah, it's come round quite quick, which is nice. So we, uh, we start back tonight and the rain's come to welcome us. So straight into it, um, which areas of the squad have you been looking to improve during the closed season? Um, well, pretty much all different areas at the moment. A um, couple of players that obviously I knew were going to go. Um, and obviously some others that I wasn't expecting to go. So uh, we've ended up strengthening the, the defence and the middle of the park. Um, and yeah, pretty much all over, but pretty much down the spine of the side. Let's change. How difficult have you found it to uh, replace the players that have left and attract new players to the club? Um, I've, to be fair, I've been quite fortunate. All the ones that we've, we've really gone for and spoken to, we've, we've managed to get. And so that's, that's been quite pleasing. It was, it took a little bit longer with, with maybe the goalkeeping decision and another striker. But, you know, at the end of the day, you want to get the right players. But in terms of other areas, I've, I've been quite pleased with, you know, with the likes of, you know, Shane and Ed Harris coming in and Michael um, and Matt in the middle of the park. It, it sort of really beefs us up a little bit and obviously feel it right back. So that's been quite pleasing. With the new players that you brought in in mind, do you think we may have lacked certain types of players last season? Um, it's hard to say. I think, I think it showed last year that we had, we had, we had players on the day. Um, probably the biggest criticism is that we didn't, you know, this, it's over a season. It's 42 games and we proved what a great cup side we are. Um, but we need to prove what a good a good league team we are. And uh, last year we only proved we were the seventh best, so that's not that's not really good enough. And uh, I'm hoping the players that are coming now are obviously going to do a job over 42 games. Do you think there's anything that you've learnt from last season that you're going to take into the new season? Um, yeah, I think I think you learn you learn something out out of every game, and you you learn you learn from your formations and your players and, and certain games and. Um, you know, you learn to maybe how to how to react in certain situations. So yeah, you 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 know, you, you hopefully you, you we're all a little bit older and a little bit wiser, for, you know, for this year. And uh, you know, hopefully the fans will uh, you know, like I say, be a little bit flexible as well, and um, you know, keep believing in what we're doing, and because it's it's going the right way. But uh, like I say, last year we got to enjoy probably more of a cup run than a than a league campaign. Looking uh, to today's events, Nathan Ashton. Is he in your plans for next season? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Nathan's Nathan's coming back. Um, he wants to be here as long as he can commit to to the travelling because he does live a fair way away. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm expecting him here tonight and expecting him to come and play a part. And um, you know, whether it be in midfield or out wide or, or at left back, I think he's shown that he can. He's quite comfortable in all those positions. And what about Trilis? Have you invited Trilis along today? Not today. No, tonight is purely just, it's more of a bit of a fun night tonight, to be fair. We was going to start back on Saturday properly, but it was a, a chance of all the new faces tonight to get everybody in, just get a little bit of banter, a little bit of ball work, uh, mix it up. Um, and Saturday we can start training properly. But I'm not got any, any um, trialists as such. I've got a few, a few people that, have, um, that are friends of, of other players who are still talking to other clubs that might come down and join in tonight. So it gives us a chance to have a look and a chat. Um, but it's pretty much the bulk of the squad tonight, which is about 16 of them. Got an exciting game coming up in the pre-season uh, schedule against Arsenal at Crabble. Um, what are you expecting from that game? Uh, it's tough because it's probably a little bit later in the pre-season than I would have liked. It's a bit close to kick-off of the season, but it's, they're the kind of games that are just there for the fans, really. You know, it's, for the, it's for the players to go and play. You know, if you're going to play Arsenal, under 19s, under 20s, that's pretty much their reserve team and some of their Carling Cup players. So, you know, there'll be, there'll be quality players, they play football the right way. Um, and it's just going to be a good, a, it's going to be a good experience for, for my players to go and see what it's, you know, the levels get raised again. Um, and I think it's just, it's just one of those good ones for the fans and the club. It's good, good PR to host, host a team like Arsenal. Um, and hopefully give, give them a good game, make it a good night. And, it, and it's something then that hopefully will, will happen again in the future. But it's, it's one of those strange nights. It's more of a one-off than, than really part of your pre-season. Do you think it creates possibilities of links up with uh, Arsenal in other areas? Um, possibly. I mean, they don't normally let their players come down and play at this level. They generally stick with full-time clubs, Conference or Coca-Cola too. But, you know, if, if, if they come down and they see that the facilities are nice and they see that the way that we play football is, is good and, um, you know, they think that, you know, it's gonna, they're going to be looked after properly and it's beneficial, then, then you never know. It'd be nice, be nice if we could, you know, uh, tempt Arsenal to let them 
have the use of some of their quality young players. Um, we'll just have to see. You know, like I say, it depends how successful the night is. If it goes really well, we have a good game against them. You never know. Maybe Liam might uh, he might allow some of the young lads to come down. Away from the club, uh, have you had any time to do anything this summer? Uh, not a great deal. It's been pretty much non-stop all the way through since since the season finished. You, you know, you're planning for next year anyway, and you're looking you're looking at players and talking to players and players are getting recommended to you and then you're forever waiting for phone calls and chasing them up and having meetings so it, it pretty much starts all the way through I got away for a week had a nice little break but then you come back to those messages and missed calls so it's it, it is it is the way it is you know it's always been that way non-league you know players go away but managers um, and chairman are constantly active and you're always planning for next season but I'm, I'm pleased that all the calls and the meetings we've had you know I'm quite excited for the squad that we're putting together and um, now it's just getting them training and, and seeing um, how they all start to gel.